Hello, I'm Rod Salm, Marine Advisor to the Indo-Pacific Program of the Nature Conservancy and originator of this Reef Resilience Toolkit. In 1998, the world experienced the greatest coral bleaching event ever witnessed. The world lost 16% of all the corals. And so, because of that, people really got frightened by this global warming and this mass coral bleaching, as they call it. We decided we need to look at the coral reefs that lived. We need to understand why they lived, and we need to, from that, develop some principles to manage reefs for survival in the face of climate change. And that is how our reef resilience principles were born. Resilience uh, has two components, the resistance component and the ability to recover or, uh, or bounce back from some stress event. The most important thing to do is to reduce all of the stresses on the coral reefs. The more stressed a reef is, the, the weaker the corals become and the easier it is for those coral reefs to get disease and suffer from other stresses. Reef resilience is a concept whose time has come and it has been embraced worldwide by managers and scientists who have really contributed to taking the early ideas and refining them. This coral reef module captures the latest and greatest of that science and management applications and presents it as clear guidance to managers on how to select, design and manage marine protected areas to survive climate change. It lists the major stresses to coral reefs, the management responses, the principles to design climate resilient MPA networks, uh, and related monitoring programs and communication strategies, and more. So I invite you to dive into the toolkit, scroll through its many pages, and mine it for the information you need to select design and manage your coral reef protected areas to survive climate change. But I encourage you especially to dive as much as you can over coral reefs, to look at them closely, to see what you're looking at, keep your eyes wide open and think about what you're seeing and how it relates to what you've learned in the toolkit, how it applies to the, your coral reef management applications and how it relates to resilience. And you can help us improve the understanding of resilience by posting on our Resilience Practitioners Network your observations, your ideas, your comments, your thoughts, your suggestions. So I urge you to maintain your commitment to coral reef conservation. Keep up the good work you do. Thank you.